Yoda love. Or the, 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 I swear, I know how to talk. Yoda love. This whole movie was kind of outrageous. Hi, this is Connie. I'm getting ready to sit down and watch Time Bandits. Yay! For the Source Fed Movie Club. Uh, John Cleese, Sean Connery, Shelley Duvall. All sorts of people that I've heard before. Why have I never heard of this movie? I don't know. But it sounds like it'll be lots of fun. Looking forward to it. Yay! <coughs> I got delayed and then I got sick. But I just finished uh, the 1981 Time Bandits film. And it's pretty good. It was... Definitely 80s, definitely very, uh, I, I kind of like the, the effects and stuff. I wrote a couple of, wrote a couple of notes. Uh, the songs are by George Harrison. Listening to the credits and finally thinking about the rest of the movie, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, the description called it a visually, a visually outrageous fairy tale, but another part of me goes, this whole movie was kind of outrageous. Uh... David Warner, who was the e pure evil, as soon as I saw him pop up on the screen, my thoughts were, he, it's, it's the bad guy from Tron! Because that's exactly what it was. He's the bad guy from Tron, but in a much more fantastical outfit, which was pretty cool. Uh, the original Tron, by the way. Uh, Catherine, Hel <laughs> Catherine Helmond, the, as soon as I saw her get on the screen, I go, oh! It's Mona from Who's the Boss? That's all That's all I could think of. I was like, hey, check that out. Shelley Duvall, to me, was reminiscent of uh, Susan Sarandon's uh, Janet from the Rocky Horror Picture Show. She's, ah, ah, ah. She's very flighty and tried to be all sorts of innocent, and that was, that was, that was the thing. John Cleese, as soon as I saw that it was the John Cleese was in the movie, and when things start to get a little bit like fairy tale outlandish, uh, and the knight comes through the the room, I immediately thought, "Oh great, I'm watching Monty, pa Monty Python." I didn't even, you know, I didn't realize that was going to show up. And then he turned around and he ended up being Robin Hood, and my brain went side trailing into Robin Hood Men in Tights. So that that was a thing. <laughs> Sean Connery. It's amazing because you look back now, and it was it was you know, he's a, he's a big name. You, everybody knows who Sean Connery is, but it didn't seem like he he was very subtle. Ian Holmes, who is in the Lord of the Rings trilogy, uh, made a great Napoleon. I thought that was pretty neat. I'm curious to know what happened to Kevin after this was all said and done. It's almost like. It, it's described as a fairy tale, so part of me goes, well, shouldn't people live happily ever after? No. And evil ends up destroying his parents. And a part of me kind of goes, is this the 80s telling us that they think that gadgets are eventually one day going to be evil? And are there other subtle ideas that are in this thing? So I thought it was a pretty fun, happy movie. It makes no sense, so of course kids are going to love it. That's why it's in the kids section, I suppose. Um, yeah, it just, I, I feel like the last few of these that I've done, I just kind of keep hating and hating on, uh, keep hating on movies, and I'm not really, and I usually always love movies. Every time I, somebody asks me about a movie, I'm like, oh yeah, I love that movie. And now that I sit down and try to criticize them, part of me is like, I, I, I want to like the movies that we watch again, so... It just, it kind of made no sense to me. Usually you want to escape when you go and see a movie. Maybe because I'm used to seeing that happen in a theater versus in the privacy of my own house because I keep getting distracted and I'm getting, I'm having to pause through the movie for different reasons. So maybe I'm just losing that sense of, oh yeah, that movie was great versus, you know, coming out of a theater experience. So maybe that's just me. What do you think? I liked it. I thought it was pretty good. So thank you. I will still keep recommending Ink, and I think I will eventually make my own review on it. But it's been a while since I've seen it, so I don't know if I'll enjoy it like I did before. But thank you very much. I know this has been a long video, but thank you for continuing to tune in. My other thought that I wanted to say with the Where is Kevin is that actor 
has he been, with the exception of a couple other 80s films, has he been in anything else? I went to go quick Google search and I think they had a different actor with the same name. And this guy, obviously, he's like 42 years old now, but I'm kind of curious to know, where did this guy go? Just a thought.